Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. All right, good morning, everybody. 916 on this Saturday morning. I hope everybody's having a great start out there. And yeah, those clouds are breaking away to a little bit of sunshine in some spots of our state, which is pretty nice, especially after the past couple of days where we've seen a lot of just, you know, gray skies, gloomy conditions out there. Uh, yesterday, we saw some rain, even in some northern spots. Uh, we heard reports about uh, half of an inch of an accumulating snow, very light, obviously. But our satellite radar showing us now everything is very dry and we're looking at temperatures that are above average, 37 degrees in Hartford. I mean, normally our high temperature this time of year is about 36 degrees on January 7th, so we're already there at 917 in the morning. Pretty impressive, right? 40 degrees in New York City, 38 in Boston. So these milder temperatures are continuing, and uh, that fog will burn off to some partial sunshine for today. So we might still see a little bit of fog in some northern locations. Tomorrow, we'll see more bright sunshine, uh, and it will be very sunny through the day, but temperatures will be a little bit cooler in the upper 30s and mostly dry conditions for the week ahead. So uh, snow lovers might be a little bit disappointed, but here's a look at our early warning weather future cast. You can see through the day today, once again, uh, looking at a good amount of clouds, but some sun peeking through occasionally. And then into this evening, those skies will really clear out and those winds will also subside. We'll see some breezy conditions this afternoon, possibly with a northwest wind. And then coming into tomorrow, sunshine will be bright. Clouds will build through the overnight hours. Hours. Now there's going to be a system offshore uh, that might bring us just a couple little showers here or there. You can see maybe the chance for a couple very light snow showers or rain where it's warmer, but that will be very quick and not significant at all. And then into the evening on Monday, those skies will clear out to uh, some sunshine for Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Here's a look in Windsor Locks. Bright blue skies out there, 34 degrees, some clouds filling in now, and a live look in Mystic where we're seeing a lot more cloud cover right near the Bascule Bridge. But overall, if you've got errands to run today, if you're traveling, if you're going anywhere, if you've got outdoor plans, it's going to be just fine for that. Our early warning pinpoint Doppler scanning everything nice and dry, and you can see visibility wise too, things have improved. We were seeing uh, a half a mile before in Windsor Locks very early this morning. Now we're back to seven miles of visibility, five in Willimantic. So this means we still might see maybe a little bit of patchy fog for the most part though things are really improving since 24 hours ago we're actually down several degrees uh, temperatures are anywhere from 32 in Salisbury at the freezing mark to now we have hit officially 40 degrees in Groton. Good morning to you. Wind speeds anywhere from calm to 8 miles per hour. All right, once again, if you're heading out today, clouds are going to overtake the forecast, but we'll occasionally see some peaks of sunshine, which will be pretty nice and welcome once again after some of that gray, cloudy weather we've had lately uh, and some of those showers too. We will stay mostly dry through this weekend. So it's a first good weekend, full weekend of 2023. And the future cast is showing us too uh, over here here too. Once again, that chance for this storm system to just kind of brush and bring us maybe a couple showers on Monday. Not a big deal. Into Tuesday, a good amount of sunshine. Same thing with Wednesday. And then we're tracking the potential for another system as we head towards next weekend. That seven day forecast shows us temperatures in the 40s, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then back down into the 30s on Thursday. So some colder air pushing in. And you can see temperatures uh, bottoming out in the 20s all throughout the week. And then Friday, 38 degrees with some more cloud cover. Once again, watching that potential uh, for some rain next weekend, breezy conditions as well. But yes, get out there, enjoy today, and you can also follow along too on the forecast with the WFSB weather app. You see the QR code on the bottom right of your screen, scan that, download it, and uh, you can get the latest details as they become available.